Hi guys! I'm gonna do a page in my Traveler's Notebook today but before I dive right in I just wanted to explain where I'm at because things are a tiny bit different this week uh, than usual. I wanted to use the brand new Kelly Stamps Alpha Kings Park um, and it's this kind of blocky um, Alpha and I, I really love it but as soon as I saw it I knew I wanted to do something quite specific with it. Um, so rather than just dive straight into the page I've done a tiny bit of planning because I want to create an entire page an entire grid page full of this alpha so I needed to work that out in my head first so that you just weren't watching a giant disaster so here's where I'm at uh, I created this grid on my computer and although it looks like random letters this is actually my journaling so there's no title for the page but this is my lines of journaling so that's why I had to plan out what I was going to say and how it was going to fit on here and my initial thought was that I would print this out and slip it under my page and use that as a grid for my stamping but the page in this notebook, which is my pocket page notebook, uh, is way too thick and I cannot see the lines through it enough to be able to stamp in a somewhat square fashion. So instead I have drawn a pencil line grid onto my notebook and I'm going to go from there. This grid obviously corresponds to here so I'm still going to use this as a guide for which alpha goes where. Um, but that's where I'm at. That's all the prep work I've done so far. Totally boring to make you watch that. So uh, just so you know, that's where I'm going and let's get on with this process. So I've got my little pen and I've got my a grid page but before I start stamping I do want to prep these stamps by just um, giving them a quick rub over with my sand eraser. They're quite a solid stamp so I want them to stamp nice and crisp. I did go and give them a little bit of a wash with my uh, stamp chamois as well to get rid of any of that eraser residue. And now I'm going to start stamping and I'm going to use my Ombre Hero Arts Red Tip pink I think it is um, stamp pad just because it gives me three different colors of ink and um, there were quite a lot of pinks in my photo so I kind of want to echo that in the stamping. Now you can see what I'm doing here with my little guide which was why I wanted to do it rather than doing one letter at a time which would be a little bit more time consuming I think I'm doing um, a bunch of the same letters at the same time which is why that guide is super important to me to make sure I get everything in exactly the right place. Um, this stamping I'm not gonna lie it did take a while but probably not as long as you think it might. I think the trick is having that plan set out in the first place to make sure that everything is going in the right place um, and then you can see I'm just going to town just stamping a single letter everywhere I can but I'm just, I'll zoom in here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm making sure that I'm not stamping on top of the grid line. So you can see that I made my grid a little bit larger than the stamp. Um, it's really important not to stamp over the pencil line. Otherwise you won't be able to erase it. It's going to be under the ink, um, even though this is a dye ink. Um, and then it won't erase properly. So I didn't make you watch all of that because like I said it did take a bit of time, a little bit of time consuming but um, also probably pretty boring to watch so I skipped all of that but I am so in love with how this page looks. It was so worth the time and effort. It is exactly what I pictured um, and you know I often have pages where it didn't quite work out right. Um, this worked exactly how I hoped it would. So I've got my photo, um, I'm going to pop that onto the right hand side there and I had this Color Fresh pad from Heidi Swap sitting out on the desk anyway from my uh, 100 day project so I decided to use it because it has a lot of pinks in it and I figured that would go nicely with my photo and with the stamping. So um, I've already used a bunch of these papers so I was looking through my scrap bits to see which ones of those I could utilize first rather than cutting into a whole sheet because I'm being a hoarder 
I'm trying not to use too much of the pad. I know that's bad because I've got so many paper pads, but that's where my thoughts were going. Uh, and in the end, I only used one tiny little scrap of it. So I couldn't decide between this really pale pink polka dot and this really big bold green polka dot. Um, I've got my little scrap down the bottom, which I think works nicely. It's the right um, tones for the stamping on the left and actually I really like the green polka dot with it it just pulls out some of the greener tones um, in my photo as well because uh, the whole photo isn't just pink there are other colors in there so the green polka dot works really nicely I was just gonna chop straight into that paper but again I want to be a bit thrifty with it so I'm just gonna lay everything out and just mark a tiny little pencil mark to make sure that I'm only cutting into the sheet what I need to um, which is you know a few inches by four and a quarter there so that's the little piece that is exactly the right height for my page I've got all three pieces now so I can just go ahead and stick them in this page is in the center of my notebook so I do have the staples there and I'm just cutting my paper just slightly short so that they're not going over top of the staples in the notebook. Um, I don't want don't want the book to get hard to bend and um, I've also occasionally had issues with the books popping apart so I need to be able to see where the staples are in case I ever have to put it back together again. So there is a tiny gap down the middle but you barely notice it because of all the white gaps on the left hand side. This is my new favorite washi tape and I, I, I want to say it's doodle bug design but don't quote me on that I will um, make sure I find out what washi tape it is and link that in the description box down below but um, it is so shiny and gold and I love it and again that was sitting on my desk from the 100 day project too so I had to pop some of that on just to give the page a little bit of a pop. Now I'm not going to do much in the way of embellishing on this page, it is already pretty busy as far as I'm concerned, but I am just going to add a couple of stamps from the new coffee loading stamp set as well. Now I know it's about coffee, but this page is about both, about coffee and tea. <laughs> so um, my photo is of herbal teas because um, my doctor suggested that I quit caffeine. Um, quick coffee and that, that, that's impossible so in an attempt to cut down on the coffee I have been attempting to drink herbal tea but um, the reality is, is I do not enjoy it it does not it does not make me happy in a way that coffee does so I think it makes total sense to have both coffee and tea on this page so even though the photo is about tea uh, my little embellishments here are all about coffee because it's my one true drink love. I stamped one directly onto that uh, polka dotty paper at the top there because there's plenty of white space for that stamp to go on there and the other one down the bottom I just stamped onto the back of one of those pattern papers. I had trialed a whole bunch of different colors to stamp it onto but I think because the page is so colorful and busy the any sort of colors just kind of got lost on that stripe down the bottom there so the white stands out really nicely and just the black just gives it that little bit of a pop so I am really pleased with how that worked out there is a cup icon on the stamp set too and I attempted a punched piece um, the first punch was too small. The second one is big enough to fit the stamp but um, it just didn't stand out nicely and then I realized why am I punching out circles when this pattern paper has circles built into it so I decided instead of black I would grab a green and just stamp that on top of one of the circles there and then call this page all done. Both of these stamps are available in the Kelly Stamp Store right now, so I will leave the link for you down below. This alpha is so perfect, I suggest you grab it before it sells out. I think this one's going to go quick. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me any comments or questions you've got down below and if you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!